Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Around the Table GTA. This episode is actually going to be a C theory episode. That's how we're going to wrap up Spooky Month or yeah, this will be the last episode for Spooky Month. But anyways, um we are going to be talking about the term memory hole. So things have been memory hold a lot. We're in a generation, an era, a time that there's so much information coming out at us. And I know a lot of people mentioned this and it's like, oh, what are we going to do? There's an information crisis and fake news and blah, blah, blah. A lot of stuff is coming at us and we have to learn how to filter it. But basically what a memory hole is, is that when something gets forgotten, right? Because people will post articles, things will get wiped off of the internet, and then it'll seem like you're crazy talking about something if you haven't saved it, if you don't have a picture of it, if you don't have some type of archive of it to prove that someone has said this, someone has mentioned this, and you're not crazy. This is going back to the whole Mandela Effect episode where you think you remember something and it's actually not the way it was. Or it was the way it was, but all evidence or a majority of the evidence has been wiped off the face of the planet unless like, you go to a library and it's still there. And that's something that people use to kind of gaslight people as well because information changes, things changes, and especially with very strong views, if people are wrong, it's something that really disturbs the balance of society, life, and everything. You guys already know what I could be talking about, but, you know, we want this podcast to stay under the radar, uh, around the table, not under the table, not, you know, uh, between the <laughs> between the fences or behind the bars or even underground or between the the tinfoil <laughs> you know what i'm saying but you guys know what i can be alluding to and it's fascinating how much stuff is going on and how people forget that this was said or this was done or this was uh, implemented and a lot of people may or may not have been forced to do something even with certain science fact um where people believe in something and then like you know, we see something where it says, like, a new study says this shouldn't be done or this should be done. I remember recently seeing, um, I think it's not too recent, but like six months ago, I saw an article that said, oh, yeah, um, scientists say that having a bit of alcohol is good for you. And it was like any type of alcohol. I know back in the day they said, you know, like a, a glass of wine every once in a while is good for your heart or whatever. Right. And you fast forward like three months later, they're talking. It's like scientists have said that like no amount of alcohol is good for you until you're past like 25. And I was just like, wait a minute. <laughs> what? Right. And then you just go back and it's just like, you know, what I was taught as a kid, you know, you don't drink too much or drinking is bad for you. Or you kind of like get into a whole sphere of what could happen to you. Um, I remember in grade five, I believe we did this program, at least where I live, it's called raid and it pushes people not to do any type of substances. So they have like bags of like different drugs and they're talking about how, how this drug affects you, how this drug affects you, how this drug affects you. And it's really bad for you. I think if I dug enough in uh, my closet not in my closet, but like the storage room, I pretty much still have my raid book because it was something that was pretty impactful in my life. And it really changed my thinking on a lot of stuff, you know, because, you know, when you're young, you're very impressionable and everything, too. So when I found out that certain drugs weren't as crazy as they said, it made me think about a lot of different things where it's just like, how many things have I been like lied to about? in my childhood to prevent me from doing or trying something 
that could have been beneficial. And I'm not saying that, oh yeah, drugs are 100% beneficial or everybody should go and do drugs or I'm doing drugs. That's, I'm not saying that at all. But it's crazy to see that uh, certain things are deemed good for you and then it becomes completely horrible, right? If you look at like ADHD medicine, uh, aka Ritalin before, at least in the 90s, I don't know what uh, medicine that they use now, but that stuff did not really help a lot of the kids. They became zombies. They didn't do anything. Yeah, they were hyperactive before and kind of hard to control, hard to handle. And when I say control, it's more like, you know, you need to sit down and relax, not that do this, do this now. But after when they had the drug, they were just like a shell of themselves. And they were saying that this was healthy, this was okay, right? And, you know, studies have changed, studies, things have changed, but so many people have been affected. Like, I knew people who were on medicine like that, and you could, it, seeing them, it's night and day when they were on that kind of stuff. But getting back to memory holes, so, like, going back to the whole alcohol thing, right? And then after I saw, like, recently, I saw another one where it's, like, scientists say that, and no amount of alcohol is okay for you until, like, you're after 40. So it's just, like, who are all these scientists? Uh, where are the facts? Who, like, who's publishing this? Where are the sources? Is this just, like, a spicy media take, right? And that's the thing, what I, like, why I don't really like polls. Because, like, you'll see polls, especially, like, on daily news. It's like, oh, yeah, 70% of this agree with this or 25% of this. okay. Those are nice numbers, but if it's 25%, 25% of what? Is it four people that you ask? Is it 100 people that you ask? Are the people um, knowledgeable on the subject? It's kind of crazy, right? But a lot of things do get memory hold, or people say, that, oh, yeah, that didn't happen. Or they'll say that something happened, and then you go back and check all the articles, all the news of it is completely wiped off the internet, and that's why sites like archive.org i think it's i don't think it's that org but it's archive.something is a great site but even to this day now they're trying to governments are trying to push that the archive should wipe certain stuff off the archive if they have it there and it's just like no we're at a point where there's so much information and so much misinformation that we need places like that archive site and other sources where people are keeping tabs and track of things that are going on because one day something will be said the other day something will be said and then people won't have proof if something happens to them or if something crazy was going on or if they're being told that they're spreading misinformation imagine reading an article and it's something that's going to heavily affect you so you take a stance to be for it or against it and then after all that information gets wiped, but before that getting wiped, you have your narrative, you're protesting, you're gathering people up, and then everything gets erased because it was misinformation at that time. So then after you get judged for it because it is now considered misinformation. The memory hole is something that we have to kind of be very... Well, well, Worry about it. I, don't know, I said very. <laughs> I'm chilling with a certain culture of people <laughs> a little bit too much, but anyways, yeah, we have to be wary of it because if something is 100% a fact today, apparently, and then after it's misinformation tomorrow, if we allow a law or even a movement to say that if you're spreading misinformation thing like you're going to be judged when things are constantly changing even like science changes science changes anything that's science fact now is 99.9 percent true or if a lot of people or a majority of people agree with it it's 99.9 percent true because 99.9 percent of the time it's going to work if you bounce a ball that's bouncy on the floor it's going to bounce back right that's basic physics. You're going to bounce it, it's going to bounce back, bounce back, bounce back, bounce back. If you do it a thousand times, a million times, right? But there's a chance that you're going to hit the floor or whatever substance that you're bouncing the ball, and it might not bounce. And you're going to be like, wait, 
what the heck just happened? And then you try it again and it bounces and you're just like, did that really happen or not? Right? But that's that's a, that's just the point of what I'm trying to say, guys. Um, be careful of the memory holes. Be wary of memory holes. If you see an article or anything that seems strange or you think that this might be like life defining, take a picture of it. Uh, do a video of it. I'd say take a picture, but even in this day and age, it's crazy because <laughs> things could be altered. Uh, you know, there's stuff like deep fakes, uh, green screens could completely change things as well, right? You know, that's how they do the crazy movie scenes. You know, some streamers use it. I remember I saw a thing where a streamer got busted because he usually streams like going outside IRL stuff and they were using green screen pretending to walk around a city and then <laughs> the green screen messed up <laughs> so they were really just actually in their room right so we're at a point in time where how do we know if this is real if we're seeing it like seeing it is not necessarily believing it um even i remember <laughs> my mom showed me this video of like a dragon going into the sky and i'm like that's clearly fake and she knows that it's fake too but she's like isn't it crazy that people are sharing this when she's the one who's also sharing it, right? So we have to be uh, careful of the information that we intake. But at the same time, we have to be monitoring what we are seeing as well. Because things are changing, times are changing. And um, with, like I said the last episode, with the recession coming and different things coming out, we need to know what's reliable we need to stand on what we truly believe in and we need to make sure that um, we're protected if things change. So guys, stay open-minded, but be wary of what may be fake. Um, and yeah, take care.